Misty Barnhart is among the more than one million children and adults living with tuberous sclerosis, a rare disorder that causes tumors to grow on vital organs like the heart, kidney, and lungs. Most TS patients experience serious kidney problems. Many have had a kidney removed unnecessarily. Misty was first diagnosed at age 14. They went ahead and scanned my body, uh, did a CT scan, and found other tumors. They said there were so many tumors in my kidneys, they couldn't even count them. They said it looked like a potato with spuds. <laughs> there was uh, so many tumors, too many counts to count, and the results came back that it was TS. That it was TS. Before coming to Cincinnati Children's, Misty underwent an embolization to block the flow of blood in an attempt to save her kidney. Six hours after being under, I woke up with no kidney. He said by the time there was, he was done cutting out the tumor, there was nothing left. A few years later, Misty was told she needed another embolization on her only remaining kidney. At that point, I was just hysterical about it because I, did, I knew that it killed off the good kidney tissue. I knew that there wasn't going to be very much left. So that's when I started doing research online and I found Cincinnati Children's Hospital. So that's how I met Joe and Dr. Bissler. So any problems since uh, we last saw you? It's Cincinnati Children's is amazing because we have the largest tuberous sclerosis clinic in the world and we have over 700 patients that come in here and they fly from all over the world. We see the patients regardless of their age, they don't have to transition to an adult facility. Misty came to Cincinnati Children's to take part in TS research led by Dr. John Bissler. His study involving the drug Affinitor offered an alternative to surgery for patients like Misty. The main finding of the study is that angiomyelopomas, these specific funny tumors that occur in patients with tuberous sclerosis, respond by shrinking significantly when patients are placed on the drug. Not only do they shrink, but no lesions also grow. That's incredibly important. And so many patients that we've seen actually have come to us for a second opinion because they've already had one kidney removed. Angiomyelopomas can be treated with a drug now instead of some sort of procedure, surgical or, or interventional radiologic procedure. And that's a huge message to get out. Based on the research led by Cincinnati Children's, the Food and Drug Administration approved the drug for use with TS patients. I had called Joe and I said, did they get the results back yet? What's going on? I want to, you know, find out. And she said, Misty, the doctor was blown away at how much the tumors had actually shrunk. Literally a matter of weeks, and I started noticing a big difference. And I wasn't nauseated all the time from the pain that I was having, so I wasn't having nearly as much pain. I'm active, I feel better, I'm happy just to be alive because if it wasn't for this medicine, I would honestly be in renal failure and on dialysis. She's doing phenomenally well. Even if the lesions don't go away completely on medicine, making them smaller and stopping their growth is phenomenal. We have patients when they started drug, they've been um, talking for the first time. We had patients walking for the first time and reading for the first time. It's a powerful medicine. It really is. It truly has saved the life of my kidney and my life for that matter. If people don't know about it, they, it needs to be put out there worldwide. There is hope. It's not the end of the world. You're going to make it and do some research on it too. You know, educate yourself about TS.